If it is or if it ain't, it's going to come out. Good morning, everybody. It's your girl, Miracle Sims, and you're listening to God, Sex, and Love, your daily dose of inspiration, the juice. It is March the 11th, 2024, and today the topic is sit down, Joe. (laughs) Happy Monday and happy birthday to my niece, Pooh. Um, I hope that you guys had a wonderful weekend. Yeah, mine was just fine. Yeah, mine was good overall, y'all. Not too, too, too much to report. Like I said, today is my niece Pooh's birthday. So shout out to her. Um, she is growing to be a lovely young lady. And, you know, it's a blessing to see another year. Um, as for my weekend, I mean, Saturday was kind of a chill, do nothing day to, uh, for the most part. Um, Nothing too much of significance to share about Saturday. Um, Sunday, you know, was uh, work slash church and things like that. Um, And, yeah, I got a chance to uh, sit in service yesterday and whatnot as well. So I got a word in. Um, And then afterwards, we ended up taking the fourth and fifth graders to... um, bowling on a little bowling outing and sharing with them you know I guess our heart and vision for them um, moving forward and things of that nature and so overall it was a good weekend and I can't complain man um but speaking of I guess I don't know if this is a smooth transition and whatnot but um speaking of I would just say that I mean my heart and mind was in a lot of turmoil especially this morning um yeah um there's a lot of things on my heart and mind so uh, some things I may go deeper about at some point um and things like that um but I feel like it's important to focus I guess on what today's topic is versus like going so deep into like what was causing the turmoil right now um but let's just say um there are uh, areas areas that I feel like I'm observing that is, you know, I guess falling short, having me questioning things. Um, there's temptations and certain ideas and whatnot as well, uh, mentally and things of that nature. Um, you know, again, being probably tempted by my own desires, things like that. Um, so, yeah. Um, but with that being said, um, from, I don't know what time I was up last night, like some crazy time last night to maybe around three this morning, I was just going back and forth mentally. Um, and in one of the moments that I did allow myself to go ahead and like feel what I felt, um, you know, I was started to write down things of like, I feel like I'm uh, neglected, rejected, you know, things of that nature. And the more I thought about that thing, the more I realized that, you know what, this could be the way the Lord feels. And once my mind shifted to that, um, I started to see some purpose for my pain. Um, so those that follow me on social media, you may have noticed that I shared a bit of a poem quote situation um you'll know it by looking at an image uh that is a uh, open book that is just full of dust and cobwebs and things of that nature um because I was asking the question or I was asking the Lord the question um you know how how can an open book still be misunderstood you know and ultimately um the conclusion that I came to is that well if no one's reading the book then how can they understand you know (laughs) 
um, and things like that. And so, again, you know, thinking about these things kind of shifted my heart and mind to, again, realize that this could be how the Lord feels, right? Um, and so in that moment, I just felt led to apologize for my part in there, because at the end of the day, I know I can't take um, the responsibility or apologize for all of humanity, right? But um, I know I'm sure that I've played a part in rejecting, neglecting the Lord at some point and things like that. And even though I'm trying my best, I guess, to make up for lost time these days and stuff like that, um, that still doesn't mean I don't fall short today, you know. Um, you know, perhaps he wants more time, you know, perhaps he wants more intimacy, perhaps he wants me to go deeper and things of that nature, who knows, um, but I just took some time to acknowledge that today, and so if you follow me on social media, you may have seen the poem post quote, um, if you didn't, then I just told you how you guys can find it, um, and, you know, just reflect on it, you know, let it marinate on your heart, souls, and minds, but with that on my heart, soul, and mind this morning, um, even after having that moment, right, um, I still was kind of struggling, wrestling, you know, things like that. And, and at some point, I started to feel like, man, I feel very alone. Like, who do I have to talk to about these things? Um, and I was reminded of um, one of the ladies that I met slash chatted with last week. Um, it seemed like we're going through something similar. So um, I felt led to go ahead and like to message her this morning. And I just was like, hey, you know, this is what I'm going through, sis. Like, um, I hope that you're in a better place than I am, X, Y, and Z. And I paid attention to the time that I sent her the message, and it was at 347 this morning. I went to the Strong's Concordance, plugged in 347, and lo and behold, I saw the, the words represent, one of the words represented sit down, like recline, lay down, that type of thing, and then the other represent Job. And something about that sit down Job just really stood out to me. <laughs> And I was like, okay, sit down, Joe, got it, you know? Um, so I went, to, I decided to go deeper uh, looking into Job, and I felt more so led to focus on um, the section where God was talking back to Job. But before I got to that, I was like reading, um, you know, some of the things that Job had said in the first couple of chapters. And then I also was reading like some of the things that his friends had to say to him. And there was some couple of quotes that stood out to me that that kind of resonated with my own situation and stuff like that um but as i started to you know again at some point i started to listen to the bible <laughs> so i started to listen to um again the part about what god was saying back to job and um that part where job just truly humbled himself and said i will cover my mouth i have nothing to say <laughs> like i kind of resonated with that this morning as well so every now and then you know we might need to go read job and get humbled and get reminded uh of who god is and things like that um so my mom is quoting here um she's saying good morning sister a great day to be alive and say thank you jesus and to be American. Amen. That is true. And also good morning to Vignesh B as well saying hello. So with that being said, um, this is the things that was on my heart and mind this morning. And so I decided to go deeper once I did wake back up and stuff like that to go deeper about this, this idea of purposeful pain. Um, and yeah, so let's get into these verses that I felt led to write down this morning so romans 8 and 28 it says and we know that for those who love god all things work together for good for those who are called according to his purpose this is a very familiar verse now on gsl we share this verse like every now and then like almost every other day right and of course this verse should have came into my heart and mind as i was going through my back and forth mental battle right and not to say it didn't but it's just sometimes when you're going through stuff, you don't, for whatever reason, it seems like we just put God on the back burner and make him the last resort. You know what I mean? And it's just, if we do get into the word and strengthen ourselves with the word, then, you know, verses like this can um, help us in those times. Um, the one thing I can say about reaching out to um, the lady that I was telling you all about was that, um, you know, what she did, well, one, she did like kind of speedily reply back. Um, she did have encouraging words to say, and um, and I noticed that in our past couple of 
um, correspondence, she would say, um, we will get through this, right? And I and all I can do is say, amen, yes, we will. And, um, and you know, in faith, you know, in faith, we will get through uh, the things that we are going through and things like that. Um, and like I said, it did bring some peace, right? In that moment when I started to see that, okay, there's purpose to my pain. Like for me to be able to write down and express the way I felt and, and then I ultimately say that, hey, you know, at the end of the day, this could be how the Lord feels. And then I shared that this morning and whatnot as well. It's like, so it just resonated to say that, man, um, there's purpose to this moment. Like, I don't know who's going to read these things. I don't know if you guys that are just listening to me, things like that are going to, um, these things are going to, you know, marinate on your own hearts and minds and things. Um, but it did bring me some peace to feel like, there's some purpose to me going through the things that I'm going through, right? Um, here's another verse this morning that stood out to me. James 1, 2 through 4 it says, Count it all joy, my brothers, when you meet trials of various kinds. For you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness. And let steadfastness have its full effect that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. Again, another verse that should be encouraging and inspiring to hear and see um, it was encouraging and inspiring when I wrote it down this morning. I mean, again, it's not an unfamiliar verse. Um, but again, like when you're in the midst of things for whatever reason, I, I totally understand that sometimes these verses are like the furthest thing from my mind. Sometimes I think what I was battling with this morning is, is wanting to just feel what I feel and, um, wanting to just like acknowledge the different, um, I guess, temptations right acknowledge the different um ideas that was swirling through my mind i'm like well no i can't do that right i gotta do what the bible said i gotta take thoughts captive i gotta do things like that um and then that goes along with the frustration as well because then now i feel like i can't express myself and then i think about throughout my life that oh i'm still not able to express myself you know things like that um you know, and again, it can be a back and forth thing, but getting into the word of God and seeing that, hey, man, obviously I'm going through a trial for a reason, right? Obviously, um, you know, again, there's work and stuff that the Lord can do um, with me, right? And with what I'm going through and things like that. Um, you know, I know everything isn't going to be peaches and cream in life. I know that there's going to be ups and downs, no matter what, like even if things that are on my heart and mind, if all of that was great right then there will be something else right and then i'll probably be still going through a mental battle and things like that and so um you know things are for a reason but at the same time when you're going through something and you want to feel you know you just need to feel what you feel and stuff like that um i get it how this again can be one of the last things on our heart and mind but what i guess i challenge you all to do today is um let's not again lean into our own understanding, right? Let's um, allow the Lord to lead and guide us um, on what to say and what to do. Um, in my moments, I start to either write down my thoughts or, or, and I'm praying and, you know, and things of that nature, uh, I guess trying to shift the atmosphere of my heart and mind um, to focus on, again, things beyond myself. Um, so if you could use any of those things to encourage you and inspire you in your low moments, right? then I hope that it will do so. Um, if nothing else, if you hear nothing else that I've said, use the word of God to uh, encourage you and inspire you. That's where the truth and wisdom is. Because I would say, even as I was like kind of thinking about things um, and then like kind of writing down some of the thoughts that was coming in into, again, my heart and mind, um, ultimately I still had to come back and say, you know, I feel like these things that I'm thinking about or the, the narratives that are being in my heart and mind right now, I feel like these are all lies, you know? Um, it's not what the truth is, um, but it's how I feel, you know? Um, and so it's just one of those things, you know, just to really just think about um, those things again. Um, so again, taking thoughts captive, like leaning into your own understanding, um, understanding that again, the enemy is going to try to give and feed you lies. So um, you don't have to lean into or believe those things, things of that nature. I got one more verse to share, and it's Philippians 1 and 29. It says, for it is his, uh, no, excuse me, for it has been grateful, graded, granted, 
goodness. For it has been granted to you that for the sake of Christ, you should not only believe in him, but for God to, uh, no, wait, excuse me, but also suffer his sake, for his sake. Let me read it all together again since I jumbled it up. It says, for it is his, it has been granted to you that for the sake of Christ, you should not only believe in him, but also suffer for his sake. Again, why do we think that we're greater than our master, the Lord, Savior, Jesus Christ? He too had to suffer here on earth. So who are we to think that we're not going to go through some form of suffering? And um, and just because I might not be beaten with stripes and things of that nature, it still feels just as bad to go through a mental struggle and a me mental beating and things of that nature as well. So I get it on both sides, right? Um, so the thing is just uh, keep these things in our heart and mind. Again, understand that, hey, you're not the only one. If, if you're a believer, you should expect these things um, and stuff. Um, I know at some point, I think, some verses that I was coming across this morning it might be in the go deeper section is again, but even I think one that I shared with you guys is count it all joy. Like, and so, like, how can we find joy in our low moments? Like, how can we, um, again, I, the way that I did it this morning was realizing that, hey, this the way I feel could be the way that God feels. And then ultimately, you know, going deeper about that idea is what led to some joy and some peace, right? Um, so these are just things to think about. I hope that you guys are encouraged and inspired because that's ultimately the juice this morning. Sit down, Job. Okay. Humble yourself um, to understand that, again, there's purpose to our pain. Um, understand that, again, God is in control. And um, and we're not, and it, we can just go deeper. Like, what, what does sit down, Job, mean to you? <laughs> You guys can go deeper with that on your own. Feel free. There's plenty of verses in the go deeper section. Matter of fact, there were so many. I just decided to say, just go to openbible.com by info and just plug in pur purposeful pain and read those verses for yourself, whatever standing out to you. Um, and then also check out this article over there at gotquestions.org. And uh, I know the title is about to be long, but I did put it in the go deeper section for you guys to be able to see it. Um, the article is called I'm pull up gotquestions.org, which I'll see me put it up every day, so you should know it. But anywho, um, well, anyway, the article is called Was it unfair for God to allow Job to suffer over what was basically an, uh, an argument between God and Satan? So y'all can check out that article. Hopefully it will encourage you and inspire you. Now, the Bible verse of today is Mark 16 and 15. It says, and he said unto them, go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Friends, I hope you all enjoyed this juice this morning. Thank you so much for listening to God, Sex, and Love, your daily dose of inspiration, the juice. I pray you guys can go forth and have a wonderful day. And I look forward to talking to you all tomorrow, if the Lord's will. Bye-bye. Did you know that you can support us for just 99 cents a month? That's right, friends. You can support everything that we do here at GSL for just 99 cents a month. Take a look around wherever this post is. You might see a link or maybe even a button that says support. Go there, check out the options, consider supporting us because, you know, we enjoy bringing you all the daily inspiration as well as the weekly talk show, but we have much, much more to come. Thank you so much for the consideration. Bye-bye.